Distinguished leaders and faculty, fellow alumni, and most of all, students of Georgia Military College. I'm Brigadier General Rick McCabe, United States Army, retired, junior college class of 1974. I am deeply humbled to be able to share some thoughts with you on this Memorial Day. Thank you for joining me in honoring the sacrifice of fallen brothers and sisters through our history. Since 1868, Americans have set aside a single day in May to commemorate our fallen, to decorate their resting places in flowers and flags, and observe a solemn day of remembrance for their sacrifice. In 1968, the last Monday of May was declared Memorial Day by Act of Congress, and it became a long weekend and the unofficial start of summer as we tend to think of it today. So I expect most of us We'll enjoy family and friends at that barbecue, time at the lake, and socially distance while we do it. Well, by all means, enjoy. Those who gave their last full measure would, I am sure, have it no other way. But given their sacrifice, we must be mindful that through our struggles as a nation and a people, there has always been a common underlying premise that gives purpose to Memorial Day. And that is that government by the people, of the people, and for the people shall not perish from this earth. This day has special meaning for me, all those who served, and of course, their families. In our most recent conflict, Army generals were often called upon to officiate at the funeral and honors of fallen soldiers who lost their lives in combat in Iraq and in Afghanistan. I feel honored to have had this opportunity, though it happened, I feel, perhaps all too often. And it becomes deeply personal when you find yourself laying to rest someone that you know, or a family member, like my wife's cousin, Private First Class Stephen C. Benish, who was killed by a sniper while providing covering fire for his buddies as a machine gunner. I visited Stephen in Korea just before his deployment. He was six feet, seven inches tall, intensely focused, and doing exactly what he believed he needed to do. He was so impressive. I remember feeling intensely proud and grateful for having him in our ranks. Stephen enlisted immediately after witnessing the attacks of September 11th in New York City. Another selfless soldier that I was proud to serve with, Chief Warrant Officer Three Robert Hammett, volunteered for a mission in Iraq. He then returned for repeated tours. He was expert at what he did, one of the very best at some of the emerging technology that we were using. He was killed by an IED. So these were two unforgettable Americans, with equally wonderful families, by the way. And their loss will stay with me always. And it was an honor to serve with. So on this Memorial Day, we should celebrate the higher purpose for the profound sacrifice of a precious life. Mindful that in our history, we have seen this higher purpose roused time and again. A purposefulness summed up in three words that we all know so very well. Duty, honor, country. A sense of duty to nation, and to one another that sparks the courage to go forth into harm's way with comrades to preserve the American way of life and get each other home when we're done. A sense of duty that shapes our undertakings in conflict and hardship. Our fallen heroes demonstrated a collective sense of honor through conduct that is framed by the purposefulness of our values and the rule of law transcending the dictums of tyrants and monarchs and applying to all of humanity. Just as they honor the principles upon which our founders gave us the gift of this great nation, the country that we call the United States of America and home, let us all make our own commitment to honor their memory and what they will always stand for throughout posterity, an amazing country under God unique in the history of the world, a country whose constitution has remained so remarkably unchanged 
for 240 years, a testament to its perfection amidst an inherently imperfect humanity. So, my friends, on this blessed day, celebrate and enjoy the blessings handed down to us by our founding fathers through our fallen heroes. Reflect with gratitude upon the courageous way Americans have and always will embrace their duty when they're called upon. Perform with honor in the face of extreme adversity and determined enemies, in the knowledge that their efforts and ultimate sacrifice would preserve the blessing of our great country. Our fallen heroes are the best symbol of the values within which Georgia Military College frames its character building mission. And duty, honor, and country are worthy themes of this Memorial Day and all of those to come. So may God hold the fallen heroes, all of them, and their loved ones in his arms for all eternity. Bless these United States of America and bless you all on this day of remembrance. Thank you.